Hi folks, welcome back to Black Bear's Detail on YouTube channel. I'm Ross, that's Derek. You've probably seen him popping about in vlogs in the past. Uh, Derek is one of my best mates and uh, we are going to be doing the works on his new Golf R. He's just picked up. So, we've got a whole host of stuff to do with this ceramic package. We're going to do the uh, full undercarriage, going to Lano guard it and the back of it pretty much looks like an AliExpress delivery. Uh, we have all this to fit. So what have you bought? Um, we've got new diffusers, new carbon bits around about it, wing mirrors. I just want it fully murdered out. So new alloys, new tyres tomorrow. So. Yep, so it's uh, pretty much getting everything flung at it. The wheels are going to wait to get refurbished, as Derek just pointed out. We've got new tyres up the back of it as well, because right now it's running on uh, Westlake ditch finders. So uh, we've got some Michelin Pilot Sport 4s, is it? Hmm? Michelin Pilot Sport 4s? Uh, no, no, it's asymmetric five, uh, sixes. Oh, good year. Good year, the asymmetric sixes that are going on it. And uh, so we've got about three days to get the work done on this and then we're on to Josh's car afterwards. Josh is uh, away to the football today, so he is off. So we are going to get cracked on with this golf. That's the exterior decon work done on the golf, and we're just about to start uh, to clear it. But I'll give you a wee idea of what we're playing with at the moment. As you can see, swirly swirly, some buffer trails in there as well, and Derek's just unloading all his stuff. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not certainly not in the worst condition, but still mega swirly. Uh, with a couple of kind of deeper defects in there as well, so we're going to uh, crack it on, we're going to clear it and then we will get started on the polishing sides of things, get it up, get it lifted, get the wheels whipped off it ready to get picked up tomorrow and then Derek's going to have a wee go over with the, the calipers and uh, I'm just going to crack on with the paintwork Just progress update, we are still on day and numero uno. The full front end has been polished as is the roof and uh, Derek's worked the wheels off the way to get refurbished as I previously mentioned and he's dropped a Derek bombshell of Oh yeah, I've also got some uh, brakes that could be fitted whilst the car's up here and on the ramp <laughs> The sly fox that he is So he has got some rather beefy new brakes all round front and rear So uh, yeah, with the Executive decision, we'll crack on, we'll get the front brakes done uh, today, we'll batter on, get the front the other rears done tomorrow morning first thing and then I can crack on with the rest of the polishing uh, along with Josh who's back tomorrow and then uh, I, you can just still finish a bit with your rest of your AliExpress goodies yeah. <laughs> So uh, Derek's fitted a whole host of interior things might not to be everybody's taste but each to their own We've got a massive shiny chrome uh, on there and speaker covers on all the doors uh, a new new gear knob new fascia surround the other one was scratched uh, oh yeah your new wee you can introduce this thing I, it's, it's a bit of a half decent one he likes USB plug ports in the back of it so whole change um, I did easy to fit and uh, well Good if you've got kids in the back with pads. So. Exactly. And then uh, again, more Dynodio stuff just to cover the original black plastic speaker grills. Uh, we are going to whip off the exhaust tailpipes as well tomorrow. There's a new diffuser to get fitted and there's new tailpipes. Yeah, there's four of these big bad boys. And uh, yeah, a whole host of other things. 
this it just just is not going on it like yeah that can just <laughs> that's getting frisbeed away <laughs> uh, and then yeah just basically right, was uh, a good, good dash cam ah, as yeah, well dash cam as well uh, so yeah there's a whole host of stuff done so still got uh, basically this full side to do as you can see paintwork's still pretty grubby that's not even been touched yet but good progress made we've basically had our heads down and just cracked on with it and uh, I trying to get as good as that one yeah I know that's uh, as you can see the, the there's quite a bit of colour difference between there and uh, yeah there so yeah that thing uh, that thing's gorgeous there's going to be a vlog done on that as well so if you're interested in uh, how that looked like when it came into us that was uh, in an underground car park that uh, was on fire and uh, had quite substantial damage done to it so uh, have a wee check out in that vlog but yeah we're uh, good progress made up here but we're just going to crack on we're getting those brakes done and then that's the end of today's work number two and we'll get Josh back with us he's over there the hot chocolate uh, over the night woke up this morning to some sad news of Ken Block a uh, rally driver YouTube star and the head Hoonigan in charge uh, unfortunately passed away in a snowmobile accident so yeah really but sad fact as you seen a degree Hoonigan hat on yesterday and then uh, my red one looked out of today a uh, big fan of his stuff uh, as is millions of other people around the world so yeah a bit sad a bit sombre but uh, I'm working in cars so it's uh, probably what he would have wanted instead of us all being sad so today we've got the rest of the car to polish we've got a full side to do uh, the other side we've got that door that door that section of that panel uh, Josh is going to batter on with the rear bumper front bumper and Derek's in the middle of looking at these Chinese parts. They're German. No, oh, they're Chinese. No, these are German. These actually are German. Right. Okay. Whatever it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The skis. Yeah. That looks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yesterday we get the front brakes uh, off. Derek's going to rattle can his uh, his calipers. He wants them changed to red. Uh, so he's going to batter on with that, and Josh and I are just going to get cracked on with the polishing and uh, yeah we'll see what today brings so polishing works all finished but we've had a disaster that the bonnet catch is uh, broken so uh, yeah thankfully we've got a new grill and we're just going to smash this to bits basically to get access yeah uh, yep to get access to uh, the, the release basically we've tried done the whole YouTube search, we've tried going up through wheel arches and that doesn't work with these headlights because the headlights are longer so you can't reach the catch. The other option is to remove the two 10mm bolts which hold the actual loop section of the catch for the bonnet but to get to that eh, you've either got hours and hours of just tiny wee movements with a spanner and we've since put the spanner up and the spanner's now managed to get jammed so next option is this is just getting hacked and just getting pulled off so uh, yeah this is either going to work or it's going to be an absolute disaster so uh, yeah definitely okay Derek for me uh, just go for that. destroying the front of your car this feels really really wrong for like somebody who like probably when cars are in like they're treated like absolute princes and princesses this just feels all types are wrong but <laughs> the owner's here and uh, yeah he's, uh, he's good with it so it's time to destroy a grill.
here we go, day number three, and uh, we've got the goal, the base coat done on it, and we have got the new uh, part we needed, so that basically goes there and filters down underneath there and into the release, and there's the new uh, grill on. So that was a nightmare, we turned up away to Crow Road, uh, VW. Thankfully they had the part in stock, so got that all sorted. Uh, we're also joined by Chris, uh, who's up helping out. <laughs> He's uh, doing the interior on uh, Derek's car. We're still waiting on the wheels coming back, back from a uh, Pro Powder Coat. And uh, we're now starting on Josh's car. So just in the process of the decon on that, Josh has just gave it a... a uh, it's pre-wash, rinse and get into it, all the sills or all the wee seals and he's a uh, soft top and uh, so yeah we're gonna get started and Josh's so I'm hoping when the wheels get dropped off for this later on today uh, this will be completely finished so we can get the wheels whipped on this very quickly get it off the ramp get Josh's on lifted and get the wheels whipped off Josh's car and then send away to get refurb just so they're not having to do umpteen trips so uh, hopefully Jordan will be able to hang about for uh, it should take us 20 minutes to get the wheels on that and the wheels off that uh, so I might just bribe them with coffee and cakes and uh, hopefully it can hang fire for us but uh, aye, good progress been made and says that's us got another body here now so there's four of us up working and uh, aye, weather has now started to uh, get rainy and uh, Joys and uh, yeah, Chris is in the background doing something lewd with the vacuum cleaner, which I won't uh, turn the camera around to because it's not that type of no. vlog. No. But uh, aye, good progress being made. number four between Derek's car and Josh's car uh, and the MX-5 is all finished uh, barring the wheels of course we're still waiting and then coming back from the powder coaters but the uh, roof has been sealed it's uh, had its correction and ceramic coating the base coat has all been done so tomorrow we'll get top coat done on this uh, the wheels will arrive get them base coat to get them on the car and then we can make a start on mine so uh, yeah, it's been a, uh, it's been good fun. It's been mega mega busy, uh, but <coughs> excuse me, we've got plenty of folk up here helping. And uh, Chris, poor Chris, he was doing a gig last night, and uh, he came here and uh, he was rather tired this morning. So it's not all he does is stand on stage and like do that with his hand and sing. It's not exactly taxing, but he makes it as if it is. But uh, hi, either way, that is car number two, almost finished. Thank <laughs> you. 